Today we're going to be doing a long beard challenge. So basically, whoever finds the biggest turkey with the longest beard is going to win the competition. So good luck with that. And we already have one person in here right now. So we're doing a little bit of a pretty late live stream right now. But we'll see if anyone joins in. Hey, Zach, what's going on? Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Carter. Hello. Yeah, just so you guys know, if you want to uh, join in, feel free because there's a competition right now for whoever gets the biggest turkey, you could win. Um, I think, yeah, it's a, uh, well, it's in the description. It's a thousand EMs for first place and then second place. Hey, Wiggles, come on, uh, join in the game. The 100 EM, what's going on? Happy late Thanksgiving. Winter is the best. Hello. So, yeah, if anybody wants to join in, feel free. The competition is going to start at 5 o'clock, which I already started right now. I don't have a computer. Hello from Maine. Hey, Peyton, what's going on? Um, I like classic rock. That's pretty much my favorite. I like uh, like the Beatles and probably um, Rolling Stones. All right, looks like we have another competition joining here. And another one joined in. So I'm not really going to be turkey hunting much. Well, I will, but I'm not going to be hunting in the same location. I'm going to be down here. I'll probably be somewhere... In this area, I'm going to try and find a big gobbler as well, but I'll be over here. I'm not going to be at any of the turkey setups. So whoever's over there has just as good of a chance as anybody else. So hopefully they win. Hey, CK. Uh, my favorite thing to hunt is whitetail. Hello, Christian Rios from Idaho. What's going on? Hello, Jerry Can Gaming. Hello, Rowdy Gaming. Hey, Benjamin Phelps, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the new channel. Uh, no, Wiggles, we got like a 149 whitetail. So it was a, I mean, it was a decent buck, but it wasn't anything super special. But we did get a bunch of animals, so that was pretty cool. So the competition has to do with you have to have either a shotgun or a bow. You can't use the 17 or 223 or 22 pistol. None of the above. It's just I just want to keep it more simple and also realistic. You won't really hunt turkeys with a 223. I mean, you could in some places. I think you can like in Texas and, and whatnot. But you can't for the most part in a lot of areas. You can't use a rifle. So we're going to have the Pulsar here and the Reverse Draw Crossbow. So that should work out pretty good. So we'll get that. And we have our clothing all set up, so I guess we're good to go. Hey, how do you find rares? Um, well, I would say the best way is by not really looking for them. Just go out and have a good time with whatever you actually do see and kind of let the moment happen as it takes place. If you actually sit there and try and search for one particular animal, you're not really going to have much luck at it and most likely you're just going to get more frustrated than normal. Hey, Lucas, what's going on? Good to hear from you again. Yeah, that was a really good... That was a really good... Uh, drive that we did there the other day um we had all those animals pushed down especially when kevin was over next to me i wanted him to back me up and i didn't actually see in the chat because there were so many animals he actually said should i start shooting and really you ain't coyote peterson um so really i didn't even realize the chat was going on and all these animals were running and i was hoping he would back me up but then as soon as he actually started backing me up we did really good. He was right on it, and I don't think even one animal got away. Well, that one elk was half wounded, but we ended up finding him later on. So, 
Hey, it's midnight there. Sorry about that. Get a good gobbler. Oh, nice, J. Ray. What did you get? Was it like a 65 plus or something like that? Hey, J. Sewell. Yeah, I like playing the Hunter. It's a really, really great game. All right, so we need to make sure we have plenty of arrows. Plenty of them, plenty of them. And a few tracers. So we'll be good to go. All right, so we're going to head over here from the south end, sort of. And there's probably going to be some coyotes and whatnot. But we're going to try and get some gobblers still. All right, Proud Hunter, good luck with that. Hey, what's going on, Killer Pro Gaming? Uh, just got done working and wanted to put up a live stream. Even though turkey hunting uh, was yesterday because of Thanksgiving, I thought, well, we could still do a little bit of turkey hunting because it's still sort of like Thanksgiving weekend right now. So let's go for it. Also, whoever gets a big gobbler, I'll just be able to see the score in the chat. So like I said in the description, you have from now until 8 o'clock. And at 8 o'clock, the competition is over. So even if you shoot a 65 right now, if somebody shoots like a 66 um, before 8 o'clock, then they could still take first place. You would still get second, obviously, but um, it all depends. So yeah, there can be two winners, so good luck. Oh yeah, that, I heard that's a pretty good game there, Killer Pro Gaming. Hello, Timmy Hodges. Hey, the Hunter Zando. Wait, is that Xander? Of course I remember. Should I get the 308 on Xbox or try a different rifle? Uh, Colby Price, are you talking about Call the... Wait, you're talking about Hunter Classic. Um, the 308 Carbon is really an excellent weapon. So I recommend getting that as soon as you could. I don't really have too many rifles, but the 308 is one of my favorite weapons. And I use that quite often. Hello Hunter Bourne. Hello Skelly Elvis. Oh Wiggles, I also think that uh, Streamlabs got that got fixed now. So when somebody messages me, that's a big bull track. We might actually track down this bull. It's kind of hard to pass up a 410 to 470 kg bull elk. Oh, you do mean Call of the Wild. I didn't know there actually was a 308. Are you talking the 338 then, Colby? Yeah, if you're talking the 338, I would recommend getting the 338. Um, as soon as, you know, if it's convenient for you and you're leveling up, say, your 270 really fast or the uh, 243, then you can always get the 338. But I wouldn't be, like, I, I would make sure you get uh, at least the 270 in between that. Because if you don't, it's just going to be that much more difficult. Yeah, there's a bunch of bulls in the area here. I mean, some people have different preferences. You could just try and level up your weapon as fast as you can and get the 338 right away. But the way I did it was I actually went from the 243 to, to the 270. And I don't really do spine or neck shots a lot. So for me, the 270 was really important. As far as getting some long range uh, vital hits. Oh, Wiggles, you would just say for the 7mm. Okay. See, that's interesting. So let's get our elk collar out. Yeah, I always feel like if I'm going to go for a spine shot, I'm going to miss and it's just going to be a flesh wound. <laughs> That means he's the moderator. Yeah, Colby Price. I would just stick with that 270 until you can get um, the 338. Cause since you already have the 270, I would just I would just wait till you get the 338. The seven millimeter is a little bit more powerful than the um, 270, but at the same time, the 270 is going to get you more integrity. So it's just 
it's just not worth it to get that seven millimeter right away and then it's gonna make uh it's gonna basically postpone your chance of getting your 338 in time versus um, waiting. Oh, there's one of our bulls. What is he? That's a young one. He's a 440 to 470 kg. Well, that's the big bull that we're actually gonna track. So, oh, another bull there. That's a 370 to 410 kg bull. I don't think there's any more bulls in the area. Just looks like just two scrubber bulls. Yeah. There might be another one somewhere. It's a little bit dark out now. Oh, that's a nice gobbler you got there, Jagmeister. Wow. And it looks like Jagmeister also has the first turkey. He's in first place with the number... Well, actually, he has a 32.0 gobbler. Which, uh... I guess it's first place for now. Okay, Lucas. Lucas Her. Good to know. Yeah, we're going to go head over for some gobblers here in just a second. But I just thought there might be a decent bull in the area. And there is. But since we have the 10mm pistol and nothing's really around us, let's see if we can't get one of these bulls. Yeah, well, he's hit, but I don't know if he's going to go down. He might. All right, CJ Procket Games. Didn't mean to keep you up, but thanks so much for stopping in and saying hi. Uh... Hey, C's Demo Derby, hello. Welcome to the stream. Oh wow, Kobe, you got a piebald moose. Congratulations. You dropped him with a bow. And it was a female. Really cool. Uh, Benjamin Phelps, I'll probably be streaming for... Well, I have to stream until at least 8 o'clock game time. So, at least probably 2 hours. Oh wow, that bull actually went down really fast. I did not know he was going to go down that fast. Did we get spot... Well, we hit him four times. I thought we hit him only twice. But I guess we kept putting a pretty good lead on him, and he went down. But look at how heavy this bull is. This bull right here weighs as much as a 400 scoring bull probably would weigh as well. So that's the thing about these bulls. You never know. Hey, thank you for the subscribe. Thank you, Cook Nova. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, see, we got that all set up there now, uh, Wiggles. What would you rather hunt in game or real life? You know what? I would definitely rather hunt both. But the thing is, real life is, is uh, I mean, it, it's a lot of enjoyment. And you get to basically create your own dinner in a way. You don't need to go to the grocery store. But at the same time, to hunt, like all season long you just people just don't have that much time anymore when you're younger and when you're a kid you don't really have that much responsibilities but as you get older you get more bills and more things to pay for so you just only have a certain time to really be able to hunt I mean some people still hunt like for everything all season long but I just I rather work and well I don't really have much choice I have to work Crockett Buck, what's going on? You got a you got a doe yesterday and saw a huge buck. That's pretty awesome. Uh, no, I, I don't go gun hunting anymore. Only bow hunting. And did not able I wasn't able to get any bucks close enough to get a decent shot on them. So what do you like, the Hunter Classic or the Hunter Call of the Wild? Jay Sewell, I like the Hunter Classic for bow hunting because I'm a bow hunter. And the Hunter Classic is very nice as far as bow hunting. Call of the Wild, I mean, you can definitely do some bow hunting, but it's just not the same. It's not very realistic. I don't go gun hunting, uh, Carter Burn. I actually used to have a 12 gauge pump Remington 
with a really nice scope out and everything. Hey, Kelly O'Brien, thank you so much for the subscribe. Welcome. Johnny Walker, what's going on? You're going to Kentucky because it's 12.08, so I might be here. All right, sounds good, Alex James. What's the biggest animal you got in real life? Uh, the biggest animal that I've got is a bull elk. Actually, I got a bull elk, but it wasn't that terribly big. It was only like a 320, 330s bull. But um, the biggest scoring animal would be my whitetail that I got. That was a 13 point and it scored 160. So probably that. What kind of bow do you have? I have a Matthews Mission crossbow and I have a Hoyt Katera compound bow. But I've only hunted, I've never actually got anything with my crossbow. I've only ever, I've gotten plenty with my compound, but I've never actually had a chance to get one with my crossbow yet. So, hey, ML Gaming, thank you so much for the subscribe. Welcome to the channel. All right. Um, hey, thank you. Hey, Jam777, thank you for the subscribe. Can you download Unturned? I, I feel like it would be a really fun game, but I would rather watch somebody play that. I don't know if I'm really that good at that kind of a game. Hey, Hayden West, thank you for the subscribe. Hey, George Cabo, what's going on? Hey, Wiggles, you like that picture? Your dad has a crossbow too? Alright, so I gotta try and set the rules straight here, so... I guess it's not really rules, but... As far as whoever's in the stand first, I mean, if there's two stands there... By all means, you can share and take turns if you want to use bow. But... Just don't try and, uh, you know, shoot a gun next to somebody and... If you want to still keep, like, a 500 meter rule as far as turkey hunting but um so yeah just good luck hey flinter is the best thank you very much couldn't have done it without you guys hey zando cheesy sauce vlogs thank you i really appreciate it you're cool too it's your birthday in one week joseph well happy birthday Can you find some wall hangers? Well, we'll see. Right now we're gonna try and find some gobblers. It's a little bit early here, but we'll see. Hopefully, we'll be able to find at least one. George, yeah, I remember that. Was that you? Hey, Al, ba uh, Al Bassmaster, welcome. Good to see you again. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, come on and join. Plenty of time. There's still a good two game hours left, so. Hopefully somebody gets one. I felt like it would be more fair to not be sitting in the turkey spot. That way someone else could have a chance at getting one. Hey, thank you, George. Shoot your crossbow. Yeah, I haven't got anything with it yet. No problem, Joseph. You know what, Christian? That's a really, really good question. And to be honest, the coolest animal that I've gotten on the Hunter Classic, I don't actually have a picture of it, but I do have a picture. Yeah, I think I have a picture of it. I have a screen uh, screenshot of it, actually. So I'll see if I can't find it here. Alright, so this would probably be the coolest thing that I got on the Hunter Classic. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It is a piebald 180 scoring mule deer. It actually scored 182. So that was really, really cool. And probably the coolest thing that I got on the Hunter Classic. That's just a screenshot of it. But anyways... Do you ever go fishing? 
No, I don't really fish at all. I used to fish so much when I was a kid. We would fish for walleye and northern pike a lot. Even some almost bass. But I just don't really fish that much anymore. I mean, occasionally I, I will. But just not very often. Do a crossbow hunt challenge. Hey, country boy, y'all. Uh, country boy blogs. Nice. Do you get EMs from winning comps? You know, I don't really do comps because you don't really get any EMs. And even if you did, the odds of winning is so so low that I think the most you could actually win is maybe like couple hundred EMs or something like that. I don't even know if you could actually win 500 or a thousand EMs. I've never seen any competitions. Usually they just give you like a trophy. But I'm not really about hunting for, for EMs or trophies. Hey, thank you Jay Sewell. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Life of Dave, what's going on? Hey, Xander. I remember when the new pistol scope came out. Me and you did a drive, and he got me the scope for my 7mm, and I was so happy. Yep. That was the same time when we did the... I think you were in the drive when we got the 327 non-typical white tail buck. Alright, someone just got a big turkey. Uh, Zach, what did it score? Should probably pay more attention to that, because... We gotta be able to see who wins here. Oh, okay, Zach. You scared me for a second. I wasn't sure. I was going to say, I thought I would notice a big score of a turkey pop up in the chat somewhere, but apparently not. Every day, bro. Hey, welcome back, Hayden Peterson. I had to have a trophy lied to get money. Uh, Carter Kabish, the biggest caliber gun I've shot was a 300 Winchester mag. So not super big, but it's pretty big. That's actually the weapon that I got my first deer ever with, and that was a doe. Well, if you want to earn EMs right now, you just get the biggest turkey. That's a pretty good way to win. Um, but otherwise, I don't really think I've actually earned EMs. Mostly, you just have to buy them. I've done some things where you can watch videos and then they give you EMs, which is not, it's not the worst thing, but I feel like there's a lot better things that you could do. Ashton Southern, you got a white tail last year? Congratulations. Your first feral hog was with the 50 caliber. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty big weapon for a, for a hog. At least, I think so. I can't believe nobody's getting any turkeys. Someone's going to win with that 34 turkey. Jagmeister's going to win with that 34 turkey. Hey, Lucas Her. Yeah, I really wish I could hunt mealies, but we don't have any mealies. Not for a long ways away. What was your favorite game? Uh, as far as hunting, the Hunter Classic is by far my favorite hunting game. Um, but I do like... I like to play a little bit of um, more... like outdoorsy games. Even... Uh, Zombie games are pretty cool too. 
But for the most part, I just like hunting games. The life of Dave, you got a 25 point white tail buck. That seems pretty big. You couldn't join him, but you can watch the stream. Oh yeah, it looks like we're filled up here pretty good. Bearded hen? Proud Hunter, you just got a bearded hen? <laughs> you got your first deer with the 308. One of the greatest hunts with us. Oh yeah, I remember that, Xander. That, um, what was it, the blue arctic fox? That was so cool. Made a really good hit on him with the carbon, I think it was actually the wooden recurve at the time. I hunt in Wisconsin. You got a 17 point that scored 223. That's gotta be a mule deer. That's a monster. I think the mule deer actually get a little bit bigger than white tail though. But I mean, it's still big. All right, squirrel monk, good luck. Hopefully you get a big one. It was hard to kill him. You took five years. Wow. Kill hogs. You know, that's very interesting about the hogs thing. So, when I first started hunting on the hunter, when I started playing, um, we would do lots of hogs hunting, hog drives, hog hunting. And I don't think I've done any hog drives or any hog hunting in general for probably over a year. Actually, maybe even two years. Oh, Zach, they get over 200 plus? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I know a 200 plus melee is still, most likely it's still a wall hanger for sure. But I guess if you already have a 200 plus melee and then you get another one, then maybe you want to wait until you get a 220 plus. So maybe that's, maybe a 200 plus melee is, is similar to like a 150, 160 whitetail, if I'm not mistaken. Squirrel Monk, where are you at here? You're right here. Well, Squirrel Monk, are you in the tower stand or are you in the tree stand? Because the tree stand is 25 meters and from that tower stand you're looking at close to 40. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Lucas. My dad has a 100 and 195 muley mounted. And, I mean, it's pretty big. It, it looks really big, but I don't know. I've never hunted him before. He got it with his 300 Winchester mag. The buck had double drop times. So my favorite caliber, I really like the AR-223. That's probably like my all time favorite gun. There's not much use for it, but it's a really, really fun, great gun. It's awesome. It's perfect for coyote hunting. Perfect. Also, when you have those crows calling in the morning at 5 o'clock and you're trying to sleep, you just pull out the 223 right out the window. Oh, you got yours with the 308. Nice. Do you hunt out of a blind or a tree stand? Well, we only hunt out of tree stands. All right, Squirrel Monk. It looks like you're in second place as of right now. Actually, no, third place. So I think Zach's in first with a 44.9. Squirrel Monk would be in third place. So I think... Who was that? Yeah, Jagmeister would be in second place right now. Uh, please watch the language, Oblivious RS. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, Lucas, hurry. You got yours with the 243. Alrighty, Wiggles, have a really good one. Thank you so much for coming, and take it easy. That's right, Squirrel Monk. Hey, Outdoor Life, hello. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we're pretty full right now. This isn't really about me or us doing hunting it's more about somebody else hoping that they get a, a big gobbler because we're kind of far away from all the action but we'll find a gobbler here pretty soon do you know what a barashinga is not really Yeah, 243 is a really, really nice gun. It has a lot of power, plenty enough to take down a deer, but you can also use it for coyotes or even, um, what else could you use it for? Oh, I guess even like a, a fox if you wanted to. It's a little bit big for a fox, but... Uh, one second. Oblivious RS. Alright, we're back. You walked for an hour and you saw him at 362 yards and dropped him. Hey, Hunter Bourne. Hello, Ashton Southern. Van Hammer. Which one is Hammer? No, that was Wiggles. Wiggles took care of it. Yeah, that was all Wiggles. That wasn't me. He was he was on top of it. Next year you might use the muzzle order. Hey Wiggles, I thought you left. I I um went away quick and next thing you know you were still there so that's pretty awesome you were on it you put the dude in a timeout uh, you got two diamond elk in the same day on call of the wild all right hunter born have a really good night yeah i know it's pretty late here too I gotta work at 8 o'clock in the morning too. Install a couple of TVs. Alright, perfect Wiggles. Have a really good one. Thank you so much. So what do you think about the new animals in the new reserve town? That's a really good question. You know, I'm actually looking forward to the water buffalo. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the water buffalo, but other than that, I'm not looking forward to it much. Because it's going to be very similar to, well, kind of like a cross between Val de Boa and Bush Ranger's Run. And to me, it's not really anything that I've ever hunted, so... And it's not anything that I really want to hunt. So I would want more of a either really plains area or like a midwestern even like a snow map that for instance like medved taiga but on call of the wild i mean on uh, the hunter classic if they did that that would be excellent what is your favorite guy 
Hey, Lucas, thank you. Yeah, it's interesting, because I can't tell who's actually, if someone actually likes the stream or not while I'm recording. So I don't really know if people can even, if they can even like the stream during the live stream or they have to wait until it becomes a video. But I guess you can do it either way. Joseph Hayes, there's going to be a new reserve. There's no name for it yet, but it's going to be a tropical Australian map. And there's going to be some kind of deer there. And hey, Squirrel Monk, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. There's going to be water buffalo. But that's the main thing I'm very, uh, very much looking forward to hunting. Hey, Nate Mark. Good luck, good luck. It's your first day of rifle. I always would look forward to gun hunting and I just couldn't wait to wake up in the morning. But then one day, I just don't get that feeling anymore. So I still love bow hunting and I, I will never stop bow hunting because it's almost like the land is untouched during this time. But as soon as gun hunting happens, the bucks are all smart. They move out of the territory. They're miles away from where they used to be. So you have to basically start all over and try and figure out where they went. And even if they are around anymore, I thought we saw a turkey, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I've just never really had much luck gun hunting. At least not opening morning or even the first week. I usually get mine like the last day. No, I'm not going deer hunting. Hey, FJ, uh, HAQ. Joseph Hayes, thank you very much. I'm glad to hear that. 1,000 away from 10,000. I hope I get there too, Lucas Her. Thank you. Yeah, I can't believe it. We're just at 8,000 and then next thing you know, 9,000 came. I saw Flinter, he's getting really close to 10,000 right now. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. You know that, Nate Mark? I felt 100% the same exact way that when you're hunting even, even on like private land, if you're next to public land, you're basically still hunting private land, or I mean public land. Because it is basically like a firing range and they just start unloading on everything that walks by and you might be lucky if you catch a glimpse of it. I mean, a lot of people do get success at it, but I just, I don't really have that much success at it. And it gets me a little bit stressed out when people are shooting all over the place and I don't feel super safe walking around with people just unloading on every deer that walks past. I mean, you never know where someone's going to be shooting from, so you just got to be careful. But yeah, if you're on public, if you're on private land, and there, you don't have neighbors that uh, are attached to public land or something like that, then then you're good to go for sure. Seize demo? No, I I uh, haven't done that. I hunt both, mostly private land, but once in a while I'll hunt public. If I can get a good spot, and I can see a good crossing or a good trail going into some public land far enough back where nobody really wants to walk to. And if I happen to spot some good bucks in the area, then I'll definitely check it out, hang up my climber stand, see if I can get in good position to get a good buck to come in. But I've actually only gotten one uh, big buck on public land, but I haven't really hunted too much public land, so. It's all about luck, it really is. What was that? Yeah, Flinter's at 9,400 subs. All right, Jam777, have a really good night. Thank you.
Hey, Jay Sewell, thank you. Sounds like a really cool idea. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with public land. I mean, you have just as much good of a chance at getting one on public land. Well, not really the same chance, but there's still a pretty good chance. Yeah, that's the thing with those big old bucks. They don't really want to show themselves too much. You can get them on camera all the time, but it's just... It's not during the right time, and, and you can't get them during that time. Hey, Corbin. See, it's interesting that, I mean, drives are so much fun, and they have been around for so long, but... It's interesting that people are against drives and they think that it's unfair, but it's a very, very traditional way and a style of hunting. You hunt over 400 acres? Well, you should have a good chance of getting a nice buck then. All right, so let's see how much time we have left. So we only have, well, like an hour and a half left. I think Zach is still winning. See, Al Bassmaster, that's exactly what I would want to hunt only bow hunting so that way you know if somebody's going to get a big buck on public land where there's only bow hunting around I mean it's going to be a lot more than just luck it's going to be luck it's going to be skill it's going to be patience anybody can just pull out their 300 rifle and take a crack at a buck walking around at 300 yards out and get lucky and hit it through the spine or something like that but to be able to get a trophy buck Within, I mean, basically you need them within like 50 yards of you. That's, that's a big skill that a lot of people just don't have. And I think that's so cool that you can hunt an area where it's only bull hunting. Hey, Gage Carter, thank you for the subscribe. Hey, Ty McKnight, what's going on? Welcome. We actually just got a buck call right up here. And I think we might check it out. Because we're not getting too far. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to Proud Hunter. So we want to be careful not to spook anything around there. Who's over here now? Let's see, we got Squirrel Monk is over there as well. We don't want to scare anything by him too. Hey, X Super Hot Steel, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. So I think we're going to check out over here and see... Hey, Squirrel Monk, I knew there was a gobbler around. That's why I didn't want to come too close. We're almost 500 meters from you, so that if we got any closer, then we might accidentally scare some gobblers that are coming your way. Hey, Gaming Boy. Oh, you hunt a national forest in a really pressured area. Well. Oh, that buck just called. The Gaming Bros Ninjas. Oh, that was you. Okay. CKJ22. Yeah, you were spawned right next to us. No, there's no elk around. Hey, Javier Van Der Westerzen. Welcome so much. Thank you so much for watching in South Africa. Wow, that's so cool. Been really good. Really good, X Super Hot Steel. Oh, you use Hoyt too. Yeah, that's that's all I've used my whole life is, is Hoyt. I've really, really feel very confident with it and very it's very accurate too oh there's a buck he looks pretty big he looks really big 
Uh, he's not as big as I thought, but he's a good one. 140 to 165. Definitely a good buck. Like a 150s, 160s. So at least we got a decent buck here. Something, that, Some kind of action going on at least finally. So there he is right there. He should stop. Bad angle. But if we put it high, we should be able to get through. Yep. Perfect. All right. Squirrel Monk is going to get a monster. I can feel it. I feel it, Squirrel Monk. You got some big gobblers coming your way. I'm sure there's some right between us right now. Uh, Gaming Boy, Wisconsin. So let's pick up this buck. Look at that penetration. We got shoulder blade, left lung, shoulder blade. No, we got left lung, shoulder blade. Well, actually, it says left lung, shoulder blade, but we hit shoulder blade, left lung, liver, stomach, intestine. And he scored 153. That's a solid buck. That's a really solid buck. There is Bow Public Land where you live, so there's always big bucks taken every year. You are trying to get one with your bow this year? Well, good luck. Good luck, Lane Ogden. Have you ever went fishing? Yes, I've gone fishing many times. I've gone fishing in Ontario quite a bit. I actually caught a... My biggest walleye I caught was 31 inches and it weighed like almost 12 pounds. And we caught... Well, actually, I caught him. My brother caught a 29-inch walleye too. He got his mounted too. So we both caught ours pretty much back to back. And um, I caught mine on a gold spoon on Lake Pagucci in uh, Ontario, Canada, which is not too far away from Thunder Bay, or uh, what is that called? Uh, Ignis is the place. Hey, Benjamin Phelps. Yes, I have gone deep sea fishing. Let's see, the last time I went was a year ago with my grandpa. I've only gone a few times, but we caught some pretty awesome grouper. It really is a lot of fun to go out there on that, on the, those deep sea fishing boats when you're two, three miles out, even six miles out into the ocean on the Gulf of Mexico. It's pretty scary, but it's also a really, really, really cool experience that you just can't explain it without being there. You don't have any reception. There's no... You can't see shore. The radio works, I mean, but only the, well, basically only the captain of the boat can use the radio, so it's a really cool experience. I'm kind of scared. Proud Hunter has an NT. Oh, you were just kidding? Okay. Will you do a fishing video? I don't really go fishing anymore. Have you ever tried catfishing? Yeah, we catch a lot of uh, channel cats or blue cats, but not so much lately. We used to catch them a lot on frogs or some uh, smashed up shiners. Those work really good, but it takes a lot of patience. And we used to put out like four or five um, poles out there, like bait casters, with some Wolf River rigs and some some uh, shiners on a hook, a couple of trebles. But, I mean, you would sit out there all night long and you might catch one or two catfish. We had a pretty deep hole. Well, there's a pretty deep hole right out behind my parents' house. And... Um, it's like 30 feet deep. It, the river goes from probably 10 to 15 feet to all of a sudden there's a 30 foot drop. It's a big hole. And it's really good for catfish. We caught some pretty awesome um, flatheads out there. Mississippi bullhead. Ooh, there's a gobbler track. My brother has, his biggest one's a 60 pound Mississippi bullhead. Um, we got him on bank poles. But the biggest one that I've ever gotten was probably like 38 pounds or 40 pounds. All right, Jay Sewell, have a good night. Oh, 
Gobbler. Gobbler. We got a gobbler. Finally. You know how funny it would be if we actually won the competition? But we can't actually win. It'll still be cool if we could get a big gobbler. But it won't count as a win. I kind of wish we had the shotgun right about now. Yeah, your boy Lucky. We don't really have much large mouth. We have a lot of small mouth. Bunch of gobbler tracks here. Proud Hunter, what are you talking about? Yeah, finally we got a gobbler calling. So we got a decent buck already, and now we have a gobbler. But I have a feeling that there might be a few gobblers in this group because there's a bunch of tracks. Yeah, that's a good idea, Nicholas. Well, we're doing the gobbler competition now because, well, it's still pretty much Thanksgiving, so. Oh, by the way, did you guys eat a bunch of turkey or ham or what did you guys have for Thanksgiving? Personally, I like ham so much that I had a lot more ham than turkey. But I had quite a bit of turkey, too. I put um, cranberry, that cranberry sauce on it. It was really good. All right, so we need to go prone here because we don't want to scoop. Speaking of the gobbler. Yep, I had a feeling there was a couple gobblers coming in. There's a couple of them. Proud Hunter, you ate prime rib and turkey. I'm a little bit jealous of that because prime rib is probably one of my favorite steaks out there. Skeet McKenzie, you love saltwater inshore fishing. Yeah, that's... Well, what do you catch? Do you catch a uh, sheephead or schnook or grouper? What do you catch? I know there's some goliath grouper out there too. You can catch them, but I don't think you can actually touch them. There's some kind of law about that. All right, see you later, Timmy Hodges. Have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping in. All right, Kristen Rios, have a really good night. Thank you so much. You got flatheads? Yeah, we have flatheads here, Corbin. Lots of flatheads. Some people catch, well, between 60 and 80 pound flatheads, like every year. But I've just never had that much luck at it. You put so much time into it. We used to use uh, dogfish for bait, and then we would use suckers quite a bit. Go to the gas station and get some suckers. All right, so this gobbler is coming in pretty close. Well, we can't really see very good here. I don't like this position. Fried turkey. You ate wild turkey. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I don't like this position. Because we can't see. This is not bad here, actually. The good thing about these tree roots is that you can climb on top of them and you have a little bit of elevation and they help you out as far as being able to see them before they can see you actually. So this might actually work out. Hey, Lee Vanoi, what's going on? Welcome. Good to see you again. All the way from Portland. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you like the live streams as well. Do you like pumpkin pie? I love pumpkin pie. But what I like even more, well, not more, but just as good, I like rhubarb pie, homemade rhubarb pie. My mom uh, picks from the rhubarb patch and makes a rhubarb pie. It is so good. It's so good. But yeah, I love pumpkin pie too. Oh, trolling. Yeah, trolling is the way to do it. See, we can't troll here, but we can troll in Canada. So whenever we would go on a fishing trip to Canada with my grandpa, we always do some trolling. Quite a bit of trolling, actually. All right, Gobbler, where are you at? Good game called Fishing Planet that is free. Yeah, I heard about that game. Might have to try it out. 
I saw Hawkeye just recently, um, he used to play that game, but then he recently stopped because I think YouTube pulled all of his videos or something like that. Because he had some kind of audio in him. Alright, but we gotta get ready because this gobbler is coming really close. And I just heard a flap of a wing right over here, so I don't know if... I don't know if there's two gobblers coming in. Hey, Amy Brobricker, what's going on? Welcome. Or Brewbaker. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. You love pumpkin cake with black walnuts in it. I love walnuts in any kind of cake. Like pecan pie or pecan ice cream. Almonds are amazing. Even in yogurt, so good. Uh, I just saw a deer or an elk, I think it was. What is that? I can't tell if that's an elk or a, or a deer. I know there's a gobbler right there. It's a monster. Look at this. Look at 60 to 75 score in this gobbler. That's a giant. Well, we might win first place in our competition here. I should almost let somebody come over here and go get this gobbler. Just because... I wonder if we could pull out the recurve on this one. Hey, thank you so much for the subscribe, Relic. Alright, we're going to pull up on this uh, gobbler here. Oh, maybe not. He's so close. Hopefully he doesn't bust us. Oh, he busted us. That's why you gotta take it serious. The minute you start messing around, you screw up and then he runs away. Well, we just saw the first place winner right here. 60 to 75 score on that gobbler. Too bad we didn't take a shot and we could have. But wanted to try and pull out the recurve and see what we could do. Probably wasn't the greatest idea. But what are you going to do? Uh, let's see, where is he heading? I think he's actually heading towards Proud Hunter. Yeah, to be honest, what happened is when somebody subscribed, it popped up on the screen and I couldn't really do much. He kept coming towards... He kept coming towards us, but... Hey, Hunter, you gotta use um, a shotgun or a bow. Any bow, crossbow. Yeah, I wouldn't really call that a miss, Nicholas. I mean, he bolted, and we just took a shot through the brush. I wouldn't really say it had any chance at all and even coming close to hitting it, but I'll tell you what, you can't get him if you don't shoot. And I learned that the hard way, so you never know. Just try to take a shot. He was huge. He was a monster. But we have his tracks right here. He shouldn't go very far. What happened, Squirrel Monk? What'd you get? Oh, you missed one? Oh, we missed one too. But that for sure would have been first place. Wait, Javier, are you in the game right now? Alright, Benjamin Phelps, have a really good night. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe... We could have easily took him with the reverse draw crossbow, but we wanted to make it a little bit more of a challenge. So that's why we busted out the carbon recurve. But next time, that's not going to happen. He's big enough. We'll still use some tracers, but we're not going to use the recurve. Let's just say that. Oh, you are Jagmeister. Okay. I had a feeling that you might have been. 
Well, either way, Jagmeister, I believe you're in second place still. Yeah, it's getting to it's getting close to crunch time here. It's getting close. Yep, 50 minutes left. So good luck. Who I can't believe nobody has one bigger than 40 right now. Okay, so Zach, how big was your turkey then? I think you're in first place with the Either way, 50 if you get a 50, you're going to be in first place, I think. We'll find out for sure here soon, but I think anything 50 plus right now would get you in first place. 44.9. So yeah, anything 50 plus will get you in first place right now. Proud Hunter, I, I don't really know where he went. There was three gobblers and they were coming your direction. So either they're going to come that way or not. I don't know. We're just going to stay prone right here. And I would imagine Squirrel Monk is probably going to get lucky on one of these gobblers. So good luck with that. A lot of times I use the out caller to actually get him to gobble too. Sometimes that helps. Hey, your boy Lucky will have a really good night. Thank you so much and I appreciate that you hit the bell icon to get all the notifications, that's really awesome. Yeah, you'll have a lot of fun with Call of the Wild, Lucas. Hey, Joseph Hayes, thank you so much for subscribing two weeks ago. And you already like it so much. I really appreciate it. That's so cool to hear. Alright, so the gobbler... I can hear him flapping his wings. So he's got to be right here. <laughs> I know, right, Zach? That's what I thought. I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting. I mean, it's not like it would matter if I got this gobbler anyways, because I'm not going to really get the thousand EMs anyways. I definitely just heard him call right here. Well, we'll see if he comes that way or not. I'm not coming any closer, Proud Hunter. I'm going to wait right here. Yeah, there's fleeing tracks four minutes to go ahead in that direction. Uh, Nicholas, if you're talking about Hunter Classic, then no. The, the 17 HMR is awful for power and penetration on Fox or even anything. The 17, I mean, it's legal to hunt coyotes with, so why can't you use a 17 on the Hunter for coyotes? I don't understand why you can't. It's just dumb, in my opinion. You busted another 45 plus? You got to get one of them. Aren't you in a stand? Where are you at? Oh, you're over there. Yeah, no, they're smart. They're really smart. It's not that easy to get them if you're not in a stand. Louisiana, what'd you get? The score didn't show. Well, was it a hen or what? Oh, that's not cool. Well, you know what, Louisiana? It still counts if we can if we can look in your statistics and see the score. Just take a picture of it. It should show up in your statistics. So then you'll be in first place. Just take a picture of it. It's all right. We'll go check it out. Don't worry. We'll make a note. I'll make a note of it. Uh, Louisiana. Well, it is an issue, but at the same time, it still counts. It's not his fault that it glitches out.
If it doesn't show a score, then that's it won't count because then we won't know. But if you can go on his statistics and actually look at the score of it, then I don't see why it wouldn't count. Wait, Proud Hunter, you got a 62? Oh, you found it, Proud Hunter? Yeah, I knew it. He was going to check. He checked. Louisiana, congratulations. You're in first place. You got a 62. Nice job. Hey, thank you, Proud Hunter. Thank you so much for checking on that. I really appreciate it. That was nice of you. 62.7. That's a big gobbler. So the thing is, this one here might only score like 62. You never know. I don't see him, though. Uh, we're still hunting right now, Louisiana. I have no clue where this gobbler went. But he should be right down here. So we got a track there. There's Proud Hunter. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. He's literally like 20 meters away from us, guys. All right, well, I'm not sure if it's the right one, but either way, we're gonna load up some tracers in the reverse draw crossbow. He's way too close. He's going to bust us. We got to get back a little bit. Louisiana, you're good. You got it. You're all good. I don't want him to bust us again. So this gobbler's right here somewhere, but it's just so thick, we can't even see him. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. All right, here we go. I can't hardly see him. Oh. Apparently this gobbler has nine lives. I couldn't see him. Not only that, the sight wasn't on. Was that the same gobbler? I don't know. All right, uh, where is this gobbler going now? He's somewhere in between us. I think we're going to have one more chance at this gobbler. And I don't think we're going to get another one after that. We already screwed up twice. So where is he at? See, if we could get him to come into the open like this. Oh, we're at level 15 for track and turkey. Oh, we got another gobbler. Whether or not that's the same one. So that's the one coming from behind us. Hey, Clash with Buxa, welcome. Thank you so much for the subscribe. At least we have a rock here that we can kind of get up. So I think the big one went off this direction here. And we'll kind of... Hey, Xander Call, thank you so much for the subscribe. All 
Uh, I would say you need a pretty decent graphics card to run the Hunter Classic, yeah. But if you want to run the Hunter Call of the Wild, you need a really good gra uh, graphics card. Do y'all think DD will go on my hunt history and look at a score to 62.0? Louisiana, I can already... TGM103, I mean, uh, thank you so much for the subscribe. So Louisiana is in first place right now. Mighty Death Cow Lover, thank you so much for the subscribe. But Squirrel Monk has a chance if he gets one of these big gobblers here. Hey TGM, thank you so much for turning the notifications on. So I don't think this gobbler is actually in a good... Well, we might actually be able to get him before 8 o'clock. Not that it really matters much, but it, it would be pretty cool if we could. Ashton Southern, welcome back. Thank you. It's so thick here, you can't hardly see anything. I can hear him flapping his wings. What the heck? That was a bobcat. That was so a bobcat right there. Hey, Javier Van Weisven, thank you so much for subscribing. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that was a bobcat that just took off right here. And I think he was chasing a blacktail buck. That was crazy. Oh, that's awesome. Your friend got a diamond bull. Congratulations to your friend. Oh, gobbler coming in. Gobbler coming in. All right, guys. We got him finally coming in here. I'm not sure if it's the same big one or not, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go for him. We're going to go all out. He's not even close to the big one. He's super tiny, actually. So we're going to get rid of these tracers for sure, because we're not going to burn them on him. But is there two gobblers or just one? I think there's just one. Come on, come on. I wonder if there's one behind. I only see this one. I didn't see any other ones take off. Oh, I can hear him flapping his wings. There's another one coming in. It might be a hen, though. Yeah, it takes a pretty good graphics card to run the Hunter and the Hunter Classic, but like I said, Call of the Wild takes the most intense graphics card. Hey, Zach, you got a 38 Coyote. Hey, thank you, Mighty Death Cat Lover. He was pretty small, but there's a big one really close by here. And he's huge. He's not just big. But where is he?
Okay, so we got a hen calling over here, and I think that's where the other big gobbler went. So we want to keep an eye out in this direction here. We want to stay on top of this rock also, too, so we can keep seeing. Hey, Ahmed Patel. Welcome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mighty Death Cat Lover. Thank you so much. Oh, you have this for PS4. Oh, Call of the Wild. Hey, Pedro Soros. No, you're good. You're getting here right when the action's happening. Before this, it was pretty boring. There wasn't even anything going on. Until we actually saw Decent. I just heard that turkey flap his wings. Yeah, until we got that white tail buck, there wasn't much going on. Wow, only 17 minutes left. The pressure is on. That might be the big one. That might be the big one. It might be him. There's a really good chance it could be him. But we're not in a good spot to see him from here. Where can we even go? Can't really go anywhere. Just got to stay here, I guess. Well, let's put our tracers back in. In case it happens to be him. Holy, someone just blasted away. <laughs> Who just shot? Who was that? Who was that? It scared me. Oh, that was Hunter? But where, where was he spawned at? Alright guys, I see, I see tail feather, I see tail feathers. So that means he's about 30 meters out, maybe even closer. Let's pop up and see what we can see. Oh, can't see him. Just can't see him. It looked, the shot looked good. The shot looked really, oh, he's down. He's down right there. I think we just got the big one. You know what the crazy part is? We might have actually got him before 8 o'clock. I can't believe it. If this is actually the big one. I don't really want to spook the other one, though. But I think that was him. I think that was him. I really do. Smoked turkey. That's a smoked turkey right there. Smoke Gobbler. We'll see if it's him or not. I don't know. Let's see if we can find his beard. So what do we think? It's so hard to tell with their beards. Well, he's definitely a good one. Let's pick him up. I'm not sure if it's him or not. We'll find out. It might be him. Nope, it's not him. It wasn't him. But he should be around. Zach, he should be coming towards you. 
So, if you see him over there, good luck. He's all yours if he comes in. Got a neck lung shot on him. So that female's calling over there. Where is the gobbler? Hey, Tom Lee Gaming, what's going on? Welcome. Hey, Landon Tarbutt, thank you so much. Hey, Benjamin Phelps, good to see you again. Yeah, of course. Well, we spooked away a giant gobbler three times now, or actually two, two times, I think it was. And I don't know where he went. Someone's going to get him. But the problem is the competition's going to be over by then. I still want somebody to get him. Hopefully somebody gets him. Hello, JS Gaming. What's going on? Welcome. See, this is what happened. That deer ran by, and then the bobcat chased it. And there's a hen track here. Speaking of deer, the doe's right here. What is she doing? She's fine. There's no way that's a big gobbler. Oh, I can't tell if that was him. Jagmeister, there's a huge gobbler coming right to you. Coming right to you. That should be him. I don't know if it's for sure him, but I think it is. He's coming right to you guys. Uh, hen tracks here. No, maybe not. Maybe that's a hen. Sorry about that. That was a hen. Yeah, I don't know where the gobbler went. I mean, we could track him down, but... What's this track here? Yeah, that's a hen coming at you. I think that might be the gobbler's. Coyote there. I don't know. I say just start calling. Hopefully that gobbler comes into somebody. Alright, Hunter Grimm. Yeah, I would say that's it. I don't think any more are going to come in time. That's the hen over there. Yeah, I have a feeling Squirrel Monk, that gobbler might be coming in your direction, possibly. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get a wicked shot on one right now in order to get that lucky. Alright, Benjamin Phelps, good to see you again. Thank you so much for coming back. Hey, Landon Tarbit, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's a close call. We've got some elk over here. Bunch of cows. It's over? Oh, it's all over. That's it. 
All right, so I believe Louisiana would take first place with a 62.7 gobbler. The hen's calling. It's another hen. And then who got second place? It was between it was between Squirrel Monkey and I mean Squirrel Monk and Zach. We'll have to check on that. Holy, there's animals running everywhere. I just saw a buck. I can't even see him. All right, so who, Louisiana takes first, squirrels in second. All right, so it goes Louisiana first, and then squirrel got second with the second biggest one. So congratulations to Louisiana, and congratulations to squirrel. You guys both get a thousand EMs. Pretty awesome. Hey, Denver Arnold, thank you so much for the subscribe. The lag is so intense right now. I don't know where that came from. Hey, Christmas. Let's see here. All right, so I'll get in contact with you uh, through the Hunter and Steam, and then we'll be able to get you your prize. Hey, ROBSW134, thank you so much for subscribing. Alright guys, well that hunt went pretty awesome. Well, not so much for us. But, it was pretty good overall. So, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So, congratulations to Louisiana. And also congratulations to Squirrel Monk for taking second place. And, we'll see you guys next time.